Luella Fletcher Mickey was found blue-lipped and lifeless under a coat in secluded woodlands at Bestival, the security guard who discovered her body has told a court. The daughter of Holby City actor John Mickey, who was just one hour shy of her 25th birthday when she died on September 10, 2017, was curled up under the coat with bloodied scratches on her hands. She was alone in the woods with no sign of her boyfriend Cian Broughton when security guard Craig Welsh and his colleague Ben Ellison found her pulseless body, they said. Mr. Welsh and Mr. Ellison volunteered to search for the missing woman after John and his wife Carol Fletcher raced 130 miles from their North London home to the music festival in Lulworth, Dorset, following a worrying phone call from their daughter. Mr. Welsh said the parents were denied access to the site, so he took the actor's iPhone to try and trace Luella's location through his Google Maps pin. Tragically, by the time he got to the woods, Luella had died of a drug overdose. Jurors heard he found her curled up and covered in a coat, looking like she had laid down for a sleep among trees, less than 400 meters from the on-site hospital. Unable to save her, Mr. Welsh said he then identified the blonde woman by a photo on the 62-year-old actor's phone. Her lips had turned blue and her arms were crossed across her body, almost like she was cold, Winchester Crown Court heard on Monday. Me and my colleague Ben Ellison went into a forest area to locate the person through the GPS. It was very, very dark, Mr. Welsh said. We were shouting for Luella Ensian. We got to the location but we found nothing. Me and Ben carried on further to try and get to where Sian was at Stacy's bar. I heard my colleague shout. At that point, I turned around and noticed a female's body on the floor. She was laid facing up. It was as if she was curled up. Her knees were drawn up to her chest and to one side. From what I can recall, she was wearing a hoodie and a jacket over the top of her. Her face was grayish, with blue lips. I noticed she was not breathing. Her eyes were open. I checked for a pulse and I got none. She was cold. I found a photograph on Mr. Mickey's phone to identify the girl. When asked by Stephen Camlish QC, representing Broughton, he agreed that Luella looked like she had laid down for a sleep. Mr. Welsh told jurors he then ran to get help, adding, there was a light just a couple of hundred yards away. I didn't know where I was on the festival site when I got there. I spoke to another member of security staff and went back to her, it took about a minute to get back. Fellow security worker Aidan Lawrence said Broughton had been erratic when he finally went to find help, adding he had joined Mr. Welsh after Luella's body was found. Mr. Lawrence said, he kept wanting to run off, he was very erratic. When my colleague came out the woods, I was told Luella was really unwell. I went and tried to look for signs of life. She was just staring straight forward. She was laid very still, with her arms crossed across her body, almost like she was cold. There was a bramble bush nearby and there were small scratches on her hands from the bramble bush. After he gave evidence, Luella's mother Carol, who had been watching from the public gallery, thanked Mr. Welsh outside the courtroom for finding her daughter. Broughton, of Enfield, London, denies manslaughter and supplying Class A drugs. The trial continues.